R.J. Murdoch, and welcome to our Emerald Coast community. This show basically highlights people, organizations, and shakers and movers of the, of the community that are providing some benefits to, to our community, and that's why it's called Our Community. Simple as that. I have with me today David Triana with Connexion. Um, welcome. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you, RJ. Thank you for having me here at uh, our Emerald Coast community. Glad to be here. Okay, so um, I've got a question to ask you. What exactly is Conexion and why do you have Conexion? Well, uh, Conexion is actually the largest um, Spanish and English publication in North and Northwest Florida. We actually distributed from uh, Tallahassee all the way to Mobile, Alabama in about uh, 100 spots to include within the Air Force bases here locally. Why, does, why did we create it? A um, long time ago, I actually managed the first Latino newspaper here for uh, an individual back in 2005. And uh, at some point uh, between then and now, uh, that one disappeared and another one was in the area. Uh, and then that one, that other one disappeared uh, uh, two or three years ago for some uh -huh. time, and uh, so we decided to launch this product uh, more as a community service um, uh, project, to be honest with you. Okay, so um, you say in 2005 you were working with the other one, and when did you, you started this one, about how long ago? This one, uh, actually this month will be the third year. The third year. Yes, sir. All right, so it's, it's grown quite a bit since you first? It has, it long. has. Uh, we actually followed the same model that I had established back uh, in 2005 with what was called La Voz del Latino mm -hmm. when the community of Hispanics grew uh, in this area in 2005-06 because of the hurricanes. And, and so you know, tell me a little bit about that. I mean, so you're saying that the hurricanes we had back in 2004-2005, we had an influx of more Hispanics in the yes. area there and that's where the need was shown for having some sort of newspaper for communicating, is that, that is correct? That is correct, and actually not just a newspaper, several of us saw the need to establish certain entities that we felt would would, would assist and help mm -hmm. in a positive manner with that growth, uh, because as with anything, when there's an explosion of something, there could be bad things, good things, and indifferent things, and at some point, uh, there's gonna be an in-between person that, that can help uh, bridge the gap between those two communities, the growing Hispanic community, the non-Hispanic community. And, and, and how big is the Hispanic community here on in the Fort Walton, Destin, yeah. Navarre, the Emerald Coast area here? If, 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 if all we do is look at uh, different uh, small towns, uh, and, and these are uh, small towns for the mo for the most part uh, that we live in mm -hmm. uh, you know you're looking at the percentages that vary between five percent to ten to eleven twelve percent or a little bit higher uh, there's actually locations uh, in the near in Tallahassee area like Quincy uh, that has a higher number of, of Latinos but we don't see that as small towns what we see with our strategy and what the things that we do with including Conexion and other entities like the nonprofit organizations that we built is we see this whole area as a region Mm -hmm. for the purposes of reaching out to Hispanics, giving an opportunity to those that are trying to market to them through Conexion to be able to reach that entire region. So the reach of the paper basically goes from Tallahassee to where? Tallahassee and we come west to Mobile, Alabama. Okay, so you're keeping it pretty much confined within the Emerald Coast area here. Yeah. That is correct, exactly. With North Northwest Florida area because we want those businesses that want to reach out to that region mm -hmm. to be able to reach them through connection, social media that we have and things like and that. And as well as the stories, because you have a lot of contributors. From you bet, yeah. exactly. The, so the tell us a little bit about the contributors. The stories themselves. Uh, uh, connection is created by contributors, uh, contributors, a coalition of people that mm -hmm. want to serve uh, with three purposes in mind, to guide, inform, and educate. Mm -hmm. And that includes um, professionals in many fields to include uh, uh, law and finances. We have, uh, we have a couple of professors from Florida State University. Now, are you having to go out there actively to find them, or are they coming to you as well, or kind of a mix between the two? It's a mix. It's a mix, exactly, because our newspaper has also established certain things that provide for networking within our region. Uh -huh. uh, we have uh, our networking arm we call Hispanics and Friends linked. Hispanics, me friends, the non-Hispanics, and it doesn't matter what uh, ethnicity or race. And then we have a linkage through those pro uh, events that we hold, social events, cultural events, activities. And from those events, we have uh, we have been able to garner the support of people that didn't know about us. Right. So you've reached out, you've branched out on the 
publication and newspaper side of the house. Yes. You've got something new coming up here that you'll be starting next year. You'll be branching into the television and social media, uh, social media video. What do, you, what do you want to call that revolution? I mean, it's, basically, it's 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 television for for social media for Facebook. Yeah, it's such. incredible. You know uh, that uh, that media uh, that medium you know has exploded in many ways through YouTube and. Facebook Live and all these other products that are out there, and uh, we know that's important to the uh, to the advertisers and to the people that write for us because we want the writers to also be read at a high, at a at a bigger uh, audience level. So we are going to start a program, an interview show per se. Uh, in January, that is going to provide an additional avenue for advertising for our clients and future clients. Now, is it going to have the same name? The, same uh, name? the name is still being uh, thrown up uh, okay. out there, but it has to have some type of a connection and unity to it because that is uh, what we kind of focus on, on uniting people, uniting communities. That's the slogan of Conexión, informing and uniting communities, and Conexión itself means linkage. Well, I'm very excited to see how that uh, that new branching out works out for you. I really appreciate you being able to be here as a guest and taking time off from work to come over and uh, tell us a little bit about the Hispanic community. 10 to 15 percent is quite a bit of population that businesses should be able to take advantage of just to add a little bit more to their to their yeah. bottom, you know, their, their monthly bottom line, their revenue stream. So, um, and you said the largest. Uh, you know, there, there may be a few other ones, but I've never seen them. So this, yeah. to me, yeah. you're, you're, you've got this place blanketed. So Connection yeah. is the place. And I love being able to read something in Spanish and in English and be able to try, start doing the little Rosetta Stone <laughs> thing going on there. It's a great way to do it. And I'm right, actually exactly. going to some high schools for that, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, people are reading it because of that bilingual. You're concept. helping everybody. Yes, we have some students that write for us as part right. of that coalition of, of our contributors. I appreciate you coming on. Thank you very much. All right, bump, handshake. Thanks. <laughs> we'll go down and we'll see you next Absolutely. time on our Emerald Coast community.